Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question is based on the concept of quadratic equations. And in this question, we have been told that x square minus x minus one is equal to zero is a quadratic equation whose roots are alpha and beta. And further, they are telling us that a n is given by p alpha raised to n plus q beta raised to n. And they have further told us where P and Q are integers, right? And also they have given us A4 is 28. We need to find the value of P plus 2Q after this. Let's start with the question now. And let's understand how to solve this question. So if I try to solve this question further, we need to solve this quadratic equation first to find the two roots alpha and beta. And we know that if a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to zero, I can just find the roots of the quadratic equation by minus b plus minus root of b square minus 4ac upon 2a, right? If I go by this idea, I can compare x square minus x minus one is equal to zero with our standard form of the equation. So <coughs> if I do that, I get a as 1, b becomes minus 1, c becomes minus 1. So if I just substitute the values in this to get the roots alpha and beta, I get x as minus of minus 1 plus minus. This is root of minus 1 square, that is 1, minus 4, a is 1, c is minus 1, upon 2 into 1. I get 1 plus minus root of this becomes 1 and plus 4, so it is 5. So I get two roots of the quadratic equation where alpha becomes 1 plus root 5 by 2, beta becomes 1 minus root 5 by 2. Right? So these are my two roots of the quadratic equation that I have got for this. Now let's start with the question and let's try to find out the values of P and Q. We already know a n is given to us p alpha raised to n and q beta raised to n, right? So if I substitute n as 4 because a 4 is given to us, it becomes p 1 plus root 5 by 2 raised to 4, q 1 minus root 5 by 2 raised to 4. So if I try to expand this to, I can write this is 1 plus root 5 by 2 the whole square square and q i can again write that as 1 minus 5 by 2 whole squares square so if i square that what i get p square of something divided by 4 a plus b the whole square that gives you a square plus 2 a b plus b square that is root 5 square that is further Q A minus B the whole square. So A square minus 2 A B plus B square that is 5 upon 4 the whole square. If I try to solve this further, A4 is given to me as 28. So 28 is equal to P 4 in the denominator square with that. 1 plus 5, 6, 6 plus 2 root 5, plus q, this becomes 1 plus 5, 6, minus 2, 6 minus 2, upon 4, right? Now what I can do here is I can take out 2 common from the numerator here also as well as here also, so I get p, 2 common, 3 plus root 5, upon 4, the whole square, q, 2 again common, 3 minus root 5 upon 2 upon 4, the whole square. Now I can directly cancel 2 and 4 from both of this side, 2 ones, 2 twos, 2 ones, 2 two. So now if I solve this further, what I get? p, if I square this, 2 square is 4 in the denominator, this gives me a plus b the whole square, so a square plus 2ab plus b square, that is 5, 
Q again, A minus B the whole square, that gives you A square minus 2AB plus B square upon 4. If I solve this further, I get this as 28 is equal to 4 common in both of this. So I can take out 4 like this in the denominator common and P into 14 plus 6 root 5 and Q into 14 minus 6 root 5. Right? And 4 if I take it here becomes 28 into 4 that is 112. 112 is equal to 14 P plus 6 root 5 P plus 14 Q minus 6 root 5 Q. If I try to simplify this, 14 common, so R plus Q, and 6 root 5 common, P minus Q. That is equal to 100 plus, right? So we already know that we have been given that P and Q are integers. When P and Q are integers, I can directly compare this with 112 and this as equal to zero because there is no irrational number here, right? So I can write this 112 as 112 plus 0 root 5. That is equal to 100 and, sorry, 1, sorry, not 114, that is 14 P plus Q and 6 root 5 P minus Q. So now I can compare this as 14 P plus Q is equal to 112. So that gives me P plus Q becomes 14 and 112 if I want to cancel out becomes 8. And the other equation I can directly get is from this, that gives me 6, P minus Q is equal to 0. So P minus Q becomes equal to 0. Right, so this is my second equation. Now if I try to solve these two equations, I can directly get the value of P and Q. One is P minus Q is equal to 0, other was P plus Q is equal to 8. So this gives me P and Q are equal to each other. If I substitute that here, I get Q plus Q is equal to 8. 2 Q is 8. So Q becomes 4. And when I get Q is equal to 4, P also becomes 4. So therefore, P and Q is equal to 4. Once I have these values with me, I can just substitute P plus 2 Q. That gives me 4 plus 2 into 4. 4 plus 8. That gives me answer as 12. And if you see the option that matches here with the answer is D. So D is the correct answer in the question. So the question we saw was, it said that we had a quadratic equation. We just found the two roots by using this formula that was given by Sridhar Acharya. Right? So using Sridhar Acharya's rule, we got the two roots of the quadratic. We just substituted it in this by keeping N as 4. So we kept n as 4 and we substituted values of alpha and beta after we got this. Just solve that idea. We got the values of p and q that came out to become 4 and 4. Right? Solving p plus 2q that gave me answer as 12. And the answer in this question becomes option D. Right? I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions. Right? I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then. You can like, share these videos with your family and friends. Also, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.